Welcome back to Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Sarah Buck. Imagine a world where every person is included and where prejudice, intolerance, and fear of facing those issues doesn't stand in the way of success for our schools, businesses, and communities. That is the Virginia Center for Inclusive Communities vision. Pretty wonderful, don't you think? Let's chat with Jonathan Zur and Hope Jackson to learn more and hear about what VCIC is doing to make that vision a reality. Welcome, you two. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. Great Thank to be you. with you. So, Jonathan, why don't you let our guests know what, what is VCIC, why does it exist, and why is it important in the Hampton Roads community? Yeah, the Virginia Center for Inclusive Communities has an 81-year history of serving the Commonwealth of Virginia, and we work with schools, workplaces, and communities to help them achieve success through inclusion. Uh, what we know, what research backs up, is that when students feel a sense of belonging in schools, when they feel valued and respected and included, they're more likely to show up, they're more likely to do their homework, they're more likely to raise their hand. And so our schools become more successful when they're inclusive. Same thing is true in the workplace. When people feel valued and connected, they'll stay late and care about the quality of their work. And unfortunately, we see far too many examples in our communities today of division and mistrust. Mm -hmm. And so our work is really about facilitating uh, programs, workshops, retreats, forums that help to raise knowledge, motivation, and skills to help our institutions become more successful by being inclusive. And programs that you hold, you know, they obviously need funding. So there is a special event coming up, the Humanitarian Awards. Why don't you tell me about that and what that means for your organization? We're really proud for 52 years to have been able to convene the Humanitarian Awards Dinner right here in Southampton Roads. The Tidewater chapter of VCIC leads this effort, and this year Jody Wagner, who's a former Humanitarian Award recipient herself, mm -hmm. is chairing the event. This awards dinner brings together hundreds of people and helps us to recognize public figures as well as those quiet heroes who are going above and beyond, working across lines of difference to promote under understanding and respect along racial lines, religious lines, et cetera. We really need to celebrate those folks and, and use them as examples in our communities, and the Humanitarian Awards Dinner does just that. So who's being recognized this year? This year we're really proud. We have a great slate of honorees. Charles Barker, mm -hmm. uh, who is a major business leader and has been involved in charities that are supporting young people in particular. Cindy Cutler and her work with the LGBT community is really inspiring. Bishop Courtney McBath for his ministry and outreach and interfaith work that takes place. We also have Alvin Wall, who's a corporate leader leader and does quite a bit of work in the Jewish community and in the arts and other places. And then we have two programs that are also being honored, mm -hmm. Voices of Faith, which is a longtime interfaith dialogue program here in Southampton Roads, as well as the Institute for the Humanities at Old Dominion University for a special program they ran last year called the Birth of an Answer Program that looked at the local response to Birth of a Nation a hundred years ago and brought together hundreds of community leaders to really engage in some critical and important conversations. What a great lineup you've got. Thank it's you. We're really proud of it. Done. Absolutely. Yeah. And the awards dinner is a really important part of our community work because it also helps to fund the programming that we do and Hope was a, a big part of that programming this past summer. So Hope, yeah, tell me about your experience with VCIC and the program that you participated in last summer. So this summer I had the opportunity to go to the Harold and Marsh Connections Institute and there we really got to talk about, it was a five-day program where we got to talk about things that you really don't bring up at the dinner table. So race, religion, gender relations, sexual orientation, um, disability status, and we really delved in depth into these topics and how we should approach them in everyday life and really just worked on communication and being able to cross over these boundaries to really get to know the person behind it. Yeah, and, and you're still you're still a participant. You, um, it didn't just stop last summer. This is something that you're continuing on and, and hoping to use going forward in the future, right? Yes, of course. Um, it really has helped me in school, really being able to connect with people from a plethora of backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And just using what I've learned and really being able to educate everyone I'm around and being able to say, uh, I'm a part of the selection team that will choose the next students to go next year. And so it's a really big honor to really select kids who I can see your potential and who would really grow from the experience. Yeah. What a wonderful opportunity. Thank and you. And that's just one example. It is. We work with local school divisions. Every middle school in the area received a resource guide around anti-bullying within the last year. Uh, local colleges and universities, we've trained resident assistants and orientation advisors. All first-year students at one of the local colleges get trained by VCIC. Uh, businesses are increasingly calling on us from Fortune 500 companies to small, medium-sized businesses. Mm -hmm. And we facilitate a lot of community programs, uh, most recently around issues of race. We have a series called Race Let's Talk About It in partnership with a number of community organizations 
organizations, as well as in response to Islamophobia and xenophobia, an effort called Standing Together. And we're looking, as we are, with hope to be able to facilitate and cultivate community leaders who can take what they've learned and, and move into action within their spheres of influence. Well, that's great work that you're doing. Thank you so much for being here. For more information about the VCIC Humanitarian Awards or to learn more about VCIC's mission and programs, please visit www.inclusiveva.org. Thanks for watching. For Hot Ticket, I'm Sarah Buck.